Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF ensembles for the next 30 days uh, for today's video. So this takes us just before Christmas. We'll start just before Christmas uh, with this update. So it's only taking us um, well into uh, December. We'll see what the ECM is showing uh, for the UK and for the rest of Europe over the next 30 days. And of course, it's come from the Hungarian uh, Met Office. So a big thank you to them for uh, sharing their information uh, with us. So um, this afternoon, uh, or later on this afternoon, uh, we'll be having a look at the weather next week to 10 days in detail. Uh, your week to 10 day bit, uh, weather video will be with you later this afternoon. We'll be looking at the GFS, the ECM and the GEM to see what they're showing um, for the uh, next week to 10 days. And there'll be other stuff included in that as well. But starting us off today is the um, ECM WF 30 day uh, look ahead. So uh, we're looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies. We can't show you uh, 500 millibar geopotential heights or mean sea level pressure, unfortunately. But based on the temperature and precipitation anomalies, you can get a rough idea of what the model is um, doing in terms of the broad pattern. So we're starting uh, with the week one temperature anomaly. It's actually week 48 for the year, for 2018, getting very close to the end of the year now. In fact, when we do next week's 30-day um, update, I think the final week will appear, week 52. Um, but anyway, we're uh, starting with at uh, week one for our update, week 48 for the year. And we see a real east-west split across Europe in the week ahead, actually. This is taking us from the 26th of November to the 2nd of December. Real east-west split with uh, many eastern parts of Europe looking substantially cooler, even colder, significantly colder than average, especially as we go over into this uh, far eastern corner over towards the Black Sea. Uh, really cold conditions there. Ukraine looking uh, very cold. M uh, much of Poland also uh, looking really cold as well. And really cold as we go up towards uh, the northeast of Europe as well on this uh, Russian border with Europe. It looks uh, very cold through those areas. Cold and average down into the southeast and made to Italy a little bit below average. Uh, much of the uh, Greece below average, and uh, we see pretty cold conditions through the Balkans as well. So many of those eastern areas are looking cold in the week ahead. But it's a very different story out in the west, a lot milder across uh, many parts of Scandinavia, away from southern Sweden and Denmark anyway. Um, so uh, most, much of Scandinavia looking quite mild, very mild for the UK and for Ireland as well. Temperature anomalies there uh, between around 1 and 3 degrees above average, much milder than average through many western parts of Germany and into the low countries, I mean down to France. Uh, significantly milder than average down there. Spain and Portugal looking generally quite mild, although southern parts of Portugal and the far southwest of Spain, uh, Spain a little bit cooler there. But overall, quite a mild scene uh, in the west of Europe, really, from Scandinavia down to Iberia. It's generally milder there. And then the east of Europe generally looking really quite cold in the week ahead. We move down to precipitation anomalies in the week ahead and we see that uh, we've got substantially drier than average conditions here in the east and northeast of Europe. So obviously there's still a large area of high pressure that's going to be dominating things uh, up here. Down in the southeast of Europe, um, so not only is it quite cold down in the southeast of Europe, it's also pretty unsettled as well. So there'll be a mix of rain or snow in those southeastern parts of Europe in the week ahead. I would have thought. That takes us through to dry and average conditions through Italy and the central basin of the Mediterranean over towards Spain and Portugal, looking pretty dry uh, through there. But then we go northwards and then France comes out much wetter than average in the weekend. UK, Ireland also looking very unsettled, substantially above average, maybe at times even a little bit stormy. And these more unsettled conditions are beginning to move into some of these central parts of Europe uh, as well, I think. So parts of the low countries, parts of Germany uh, also beginning to turn a little bit more unsettled in the week ahead as the cold and dry has gradually receded back uh, into the east of Europe. Then we go through to week two. This takes us from the 3rd to the 9th of December. And the cold and average temperatures are being pushed back further eastwards again. So around the western uh, Russian border with Europe still a bit cold and average there. I mean, down towards the Black Sea in the extreme southeast of Europe, 
does look uh, colder than average there. However, you can clearly see that the mild air from off the Atlantic is infiltrating well into Europe now. So really from central parts of Europe, uh, westwards, all areas are looking much milder than average for this early part of December. Scandinavia looks very mild. Uh, much of Ireland and the UK looking very, very mild. Down towards Germany, France, very mild. That, that's where the peak of the mild temperatures are, uh, with uh, kind of like um, central parts of France through to Germany coming out at three to six degrees above average. So a really, really mild start to December, not only for Western Europe, but also into central parts of Europe, even poor Portugal, uh, not Portugal, um, Poland, going uh, much uh, milder than average, at least in the West. Down to Spain and Portugal, we find that it's very mild down there as well. And the central basin of the Mediterranean, so the Holiday Islands, Corsica, Sardinia, um, Mallorca, Minorca, Ibiza, all of those areas coming out with above average temperature. I mean, Greece still looks pretty chilly, though, down in the southeast. Might be one of those weeks uh, here for the early part of December where we'll be hearing reports about snow in um, kind of like Greece, maybe Athens, whilst the UK, Ireland, Scandinavia is being bathed in those mild southwest winds. I know people do um, get very annoyed about that in the UK when they see those pictures of snow drifts piling up in Athens and places like that whilst uh, we're at around 15 degrees Celsius and bathed in mild southwest winds. But it could be one of those situations through the early part of uh, December. Precipitation-wise, not only is that, is that mild air infiltrating into Central Europe, also the more unsettled air is infiltrating as well. So we see Ireland and the UK above average precipitation, much of Scandinavia above average precipitation, uh, Germany uh, over towards Poland, a little bit above average with rainfall down there. The um, central med does actually look quite dry. So from Spain and Portugal in the west over towards Italy and maybe even the Adriatic towards the um, uh, Adriatic coast of the Balkans. Most of those areas are a little bit drier than average. So you would assume there's probably going to be a large area of high pressure sitting around here and of course backing down into the Azores with low pressure going through up here and then the jet stream is pulling up that very mild air from the southwest. Although it is a little bit drier than average to the north of the UK which is slightly uh, slightly unusual. So parts of Norway for example drier than average there looking fairly dry around Iceland. So it's probably not a classic zonal pattern because that would imply there's likely to be some above average heights up here. So the jet stream is probably a little bit uh, displaced a little bit dis um, south uh, uh, than where it would be in a normal zone of pattern. But nevertheless, still bringing up those mild temperatures and outbreaks of rain with high pressure likely to be in that sort of area. And um, then we move through into week three. Uh, it's week 50 for the year. It takes us from the 10th through to the 16th of December. Um, we see those mild and average temperatures actually uh, easing a little bit. So it's still um, significantly mild and average across much of Scandinavia, although it's a cold time of year, so it'll still be pretty cold up there over the fort anyway, even though the temperature anomaly is coming out uh, a little bit milder than average. Otherwise, the UK and Ireland actually dropping back towards average, maybe even slightly uh, colder than average for parts of Ireland. Much of France also going back towards average, away from the far southeast anyway. Belgium, Holland, Germany, Poland, those sort of central parts of uh, Europe, they're coming out uh, generally close to average as well with the temperature. So it is cooling down a bit through this uh, through this week, um, the third week of our forecast period. Although the genuinely colder than average temperature anomalies are really um, very limited now in this extreme southeastern portion uh, or eastern portion of Europe. So kind of like Ukraine, uh, Western Russia, around the Black Sea. Those areas are still looking quite cold. But otherwise, the temperature anomalies are either average or mild. In the Mediterranean, many places are coming out uh, around average as well, as is the southeastern part of Europe. 
Uh, precipitation wise, that's also um, going back towards average as well. So these eastern parts of Europe still looking a little bit drier than average. Otherwise, Scandinavia, close to average with precipitation. UK, Ireland, France, close to average with precipitation. And maybe a little, hints of a little bit more unsettled weather through the Mediterranean compared to week two. So it might be some sort of subtle pattern going on there, reading between the lines. Some sort of pattern change, I should say. But it's quite subtle, but there may Maybe something happening uh, that's a little bit different around the 10th to the 16th of uh, December, although the signals are very weak. And then we're into week four, which, of course, is going to be week 51 for uh, this year. And we see it's turning very mild again through much of Central and Northern Europe. So, again, the UK and Ireland is back to um, milder than average temperature anomalies, above average temperature anomalies. Uh, much of uh, Germany and up to Scandinavia, or southern Scandinavia, and it's kind of like Denmark, I mean, southern parts of Norway and Sweden. Those areas also, as we approach Christmas, are uh, forecast to be a little bit milder than average. Down towards France, average to milder than average conditions there. Most of the Med, average to milder than average. The coolest places to average, and it is only coming out at around average, is these eastern parts of Europe and also. So central and northern Scandinavia have to go right over towards uh, southwestern parts of Russia to find anything uh, colder than average. So overall, this is looking like really quite a mild December through uh, most parts of Europe, I have to say. And then precipitation wise, so uh, again, very, very weak signals now, as you often find by the time you get through to week four. But it does look as though many central and northern parts of Europe are close to average with their um, precipitation anomaly. It hints at being a little bit drier than average through the med. So putting that together with the temperature anomaly, we possibly still have this idea of high pressure ridging through the med uh, from the Atlantic, from the Azores. Uh, so high pressure around here and then low pressure perhaps somewhere around here and then bringing up those southwesterly winds still into the north and the west of uh, Europe. Although, again, I have to say the um, signals are very, very weak by the time you get through to uh, week four. But it does look as though uh, many parts of Europe are in for a mild December here, based on what the ECMWF is showing anyway. So we start off pretty cold across many centuries and parts of Europe, very cold, actually, for the week ahead. But turning milder in the West and more unsettled too. And then those milder and wet conditions gradually pushing that cold uh, air back to uh, back towards Russia, with most parts of Europe becoming a lot milder and also more unsettled through the early part of December. It all looks a little bit sketchy for the second part of December, I have to say. Not particularly strong signals, but I would suspect overall probably staying um, quite mild, particularly for the north and west of Europe, and a little bit on the unsettled side as well, I would have thought, as we run up towards Christmas. Next week's uh, update will take us through to Christmas, so it'll take us through the Christmas week, if you like, towards the end of the year, it'll be the final, even before the final week of the year, week 52, and uh, we'll find out then whether there's going to be any last minute surprises for, um, for the Christmas week, and uh, that'll be with you, of course, uh, next week on Tuesday, okay, so it's Right, come back later on this afternoon where we'll be having a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days uh, with GFS, the ECM, and the GM. Uh, and that'll be with you on the homepage later on this afternoon. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.